going on, fellow bench warmers? It's your boy Johnny Bang back at it again with another manga review, another One Piece review. 982, we on? Yeah, 982. Dope chapter. I really like this chapter actually. Setups, we setting it up, we getting closer, we getting closer, we getting closer to more fights. They previewing the uh, early fights basically. First off, I don't like Orochi at all. Basically, so we start off the chapter with him like laughing it up, he he ha ha, and eating, drinking, grouping, touch on girls, like usual Orochi stuff, basically, right? And I love the fact that the second Kanjiro walks in and tells him that, hey, the scabbards are here, he starts shitting on himself. That made me laugh. It's just like his care, his overall character. I just, I can't wait till eventually they give him what he got coming, the prophecy that's foretold. I know his flashback, they tried to make us feel sorry for him a little bit by saying that his family got wrong. He's actually the right uh, shogun for Wano, the rightful owner, or the rightful shogun of Wano. It didn't work for me though, I still just don't like his character at all. But also, when Kajiro walks in, he's carrying um, Momonosuke. And they notice that, and Kaido looks at him and he's like, I'm disappointed, you look the same. And as he's saying it, they're showing the flashback of when he was holding him by the neck over the ledge. And I just started reading that like, that must suck, knowing that you were in that predicament again in front of the same man that killed your father. You're sitting there helpless, just, I don't know if he's conscious or not at the moment, but that if he is, that sucks. So probably my second favorite part of the chapter is when Marco and Nekomomoshi uh, meet up, they finally like link up when Negumomoshi went to try to go get Marco for the first time. Obviously, Marky, Marco telling him no. He, uh, Negumomoshi's like, Well, I guess since you're here, I guess I don't need this note. And Marco's like, Yeah, go ahead, whatever, whatever. We actually had no word of this, and I really like that he said they have no word, they had no word, no word got out. I like that he said word never got out about what was happening in Wano because that pretty much just confirms why Whitebeard never helped in the first place because the part some people were wondering why Whitebeard never came to help Wano why he never came if Odin was his brother like he said his son like he said why did he never come Marco selling you right right there they never got word of that none of them ever got word of what was happening second reason why I thought that part was cool is as Neko Mamushi is ta tossing the paper it unravels in the wind and you see the note that Marco actually left to give to Luffy and it says uh, sorry I'm late see you soon something around there and I thought that was perfect because it's almost like in the moment you're telling us you're not coming. We need you, you're one of the strongest people we could get and you're telling us we're not coming. But deep down, Marco clearly always knew I'm gonna be there eventually. It just was, I don't know why he never told them. I, maybe he might say why, I don't I don't know. Maybe he wanted to be fashionably late. I hope that's not the reason, but. On another note, we see a possible matchup with Denjiro and um, Sasuke. And I say it's a possible matchup. I know, I know, I know. He tied him up, which I'm guessing I see Prism Stone handcuffs. He tied him up in. But it's possible that, I don't know, maybe Oda might write it some way or he get out. Who knows? That's one piece. They could make something up and he might be out. Somebody might free him. Who knows? It could be a second Flying Six member. Because we see that Luffy could possibly fight Six. It might be a second Flying Six member that comes help him. And we see Dendro in a 1v2 situation. Who knows? Another matchup, I think, is Prometheus and Zeus might also fight. They also showed us Big Mom uh, and Chopper and Usopp was shooting the cannons at Big Mom. A part of me was kind of thinking that uh, Sanji was going to help. I thought Sanji would jump in and, I don't know, help this Chopper. Well, I'm not going to leave Chopper out to buy his son and Usopp. I thought Sanji would step in, but I guess now I don't know where Sanji. I didn't see Sanji at all in the chapter, actually, now that I think about it. As for the last matchup that I'm most excited for and probably my favorite part of the chapter, Luffy is, yes, my favorite character. So I was hyped when I seen this Luffy versus OT um, and Page One. I'm not sure if he'll fight both. I don't know. Page Sanji kind of, I'm not going to say Sanji handled Page One, but Sanji kind of, he was comfortably fighting Page One. I didn't see Sanji really put up too much of a fight with Page One. So it wouldn't, I wouldn't put it past Luffy to maybe one shot page one. I don't know, maybe page one is stronger than we think. I don't know. I wouldn't put it past Luffy. I really, really want to see Luffy versus Ulti because um, I'm curious to see Ulti's power. I think she's actually maybe a top two flying six possibly. So I would like to see, I think her and Luffy would be a pretty decent fight. Also because since this it would be a debut fight for the flying six, I doubt they gonna lack as far as the hands go. 
feel like they're gonna get down. I think Page One will have a moment or two where he might get a few licks in. But I do think the ultimate, honestly, I'm not even sure if they'll fight. Like I said, it might just be Luffy and Ulti. But I really liked how Luffy just was looking down on her. Like, who are you? Like, why are you in my way? And I love the captain's coat he still has on. It just looked right with the captain's coat. He looked official with it. Exciting news, though. No break next week. At least from what I've seen. I'm not sure. Uh, I think it's no break. I hope it's no break. Um, so we'll be back at next week, 980, 983. I think it will be. Uh, yes, 983. I'm hyped to see these fights, man. I can't wait to see the fights. Luffy fighting, of course. So, can't wait to see. If you are not subscribed, please subscribe. Uh, like, comment, turn the notification bell on. Support the Patreon, all that good stuff. And, till next time. Peace. OG Roshi, fully gang Kai. Fully total Roki, I spit bar and ice.